large arteries again here uh, at the neck we have uh, the common carotid and its branches anterior and uh, no external and internal carotid uh, arteries external carotid will have branches going to uh, the head and neck they supply structures uh, in the face superficial and deep then uh, also in the neck superficial and deep you can see one branch right here this is the superior thyroid artery uh, the internal carotid goes intracranial inside the skull and it is uh, the main anterior blood supply to the circle of willis which is uh, the arterial network supply for the brain you can see the proximal uh, segment here of the uh, internal carotid no? it is wider no? it has a greater diameter than the other segments no? because uh, in that area we have uh, baro receptor uh, structures no? or uh, structures that can detect pressure changes so uh, it's part of uh, the uh, feedback uh, loop no? for blood pressure regulation uh, when the baroreceptor bodies no? are uh, are uh, stimulated no? example you apply pressure here no? you apply pressure so that increase in pressure will be uh, detected no? by uh, the baroreceptors no? signals will be sent to the brain so that means no uh, the increase in pressure should be uh, countered no? so one response, no? feedback response, when you uh, do carotid massage, no? when you compress this area, uh, feedback to the heart, no? it will make the heart uh, beat uh, slower. No? And also the uh, strength of uh, heart muscle contraction no? will be uh, weaker. So, if we have patients who are uh, experiencing palpitations, now when we say palpitation, there is uh, you're consciously aware, no? or you can consciously feel that your heart is beating. No? Normal uh, heartbeat, uh, we can barely feel, no? but when you can feel your heart pounding inside your chest, uh, that is uh, already uh, palpitation. So, for uh, tachyarrhythmias, no, one first aid that we can do is do is uh, perform carotid massage. No, we uh, apply pressure using our fingers near the uh, or below the angle of the mandible. No, then uh, with circular uh, motion, no, we uh, we massage the area, no, hoping to activate the carotid uh, baroreceptors and said if feedback response no to uh, relax no heart activity so again this uh, nerve right here no this is uh, cranial nerve uh, 12 or hypoglossal nerve no the muscle that you can see right there that's the posterior uh, belly of uh, the uh, digastric no anterior belly of digastric no posterior belly of uh, digastric So the hypoglossal nerve is uh, primarily a motor nerve no, which moves all muscles uh, of the tongue. No? All uh, muscles of the tongue, both uh, intrinsic and extrinsic except for one, no, which is the palatoglossus. So let's go down. Let's move down here. So to review some structures, that's the vagus nerve right there. This one is the uh, thyrocervical trunk. No? You have branches, uh, the transverse cervical artery, the supraclavicular artery, no? this uh, 
nerve that was severed that is the uh, phrenic nerve no and you have the internal uh, thoracic uh, artery right there no so that's the uh, anterior scalene muscle no the uh, subclavia no will uh, Part of the subclavian is behind the anterior scalene. So this is uh, sub still a part of uh, the subclavian uh, artery. So oh, this is the first rib. So from this point onwards, no, that's already the axillary artery. The uh, subclavian artery uh, ends at the lower border or lower margin of uh, the first rib so this is already axillary artery now remember your axillary artery one branch is the thoracoacromial trunk no we can now clearly see the thoracoacromial trunk no arising from uh, the uh, axillary artery so you can see the pectoral branch of uh, the thoracoacromial trunk right there. No, this uh, branch that was cut. No, this uh, goes to uh, the uh, the clavicle area also. No? And then we have here the uh, lateral, no, pectoral nerve, lateral pectoral nerve. No? This is part of the brachial plexus already no that's uh, basically uh, superior trunk no and in this uh, segment that's the lateral cord no from where the uh, lateral uh, pectoral nerve no will arise no? so this one right here Again, that's the uh, subclavia uh, no? and axillary vein. You can see the internal uh, jugular vein right there. No? And it, uh, it uh, joins the uh, subclavian to form the uh, right brachiocephalic vein or E-nominate vein. I-N-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-E. E-nominate vein. Uh, vein so once again you have the uh, right recurrent laryngeal nerve 